Hi, yeah. Today I'm going to be talking about our browser extension. Um, so the browser extension means that you can schedule any event from any web page. You don't need to open a new tab to create the event. So I'm going to show you how to get it set up and how to make a request. So let's start with getting it set up. Once you've logged into the Chronify portal, you can click on scheduler and follow this link here to get the Chrome slash Gmail extension. It will redirect you to this page here. As you can see, I already have it on Chrome. It should come up. Yeah. Next, if we go on to our email page where we will probably be using it, let's get everything all logged in first. So we will click on the extension, click on Chronify, and it will come up with this little section here saying get started. Click on that and it will redirect you to a login page. We already have an account, so we'll click on login. And our account is with Google, so we'll click on that. We'll just follow it through. We're now logged in, so we can close the pop-up, which means that now we can click on that and it should come up with an event request. Well, one of the cool things about the extension is that it will automatically pick up information from the page you're on and populate that into the boxes. So for an example, if I'm going to compose an email, Let's make it to Michael Burnham and we'll say meeting about new roles. We can click on the link up here and it automatically populated Michael Burnham into the invitee section. Then we just have to do what we would usually do when creating a scheduler request. Go through, add any additional attendees change the name, the location, set the duration, and then change that to 45 minutes. Select the conferencing, we'll say Google Meet. Continue on with the description, we can select between working and custom times, whether it's between seven and 28 days for the periods that we share with them. Allow them rescheduling, and we can create the link here. Next, you just click copy, and you paste it in. And that's it. And that's how you use the extension to create an event. Thank you.